Welcome to day three of lantern making. It's not as cold today, which is funny because I've got three layers on it. A different pair of mittens that are much warmer. I'm a little overdressed, but I suppose it's better to be overdressed than underdressed. It's quite cold in that garage, but today, comparatively, like it's, it's still cold out, but comparatively to how it's been, it's, it doesn't feel that cold. So, here we go. Below me here is the the work that I got done in the last video that I couldn't take shots of. I was miserable, I was cold, and I was just wanting to get it done. So I guess we'll go through it right now. I realize this, this really doesn't look like anything. <laughs> There's a hula hoop with a bunch of bejumbled wires connected to it. But it is the beginning process of building a, um, a lantern head. The perils of, of creating something hollow is that you really have to create a support structure on the outside with with nothing to support it. So I might have made a little bit of an error in my calculation. So this is our mini version here. And when putting together such a small lantern, wire holds itself up really well. Like even though this is a super, super fragile thin wire, it holds itself up real well though. That's the ugly side. When you're going five feet length with three feet width, even though this is a thicker wire, it just wants to twist and wobble and bleh, all those fun words. My hope is that this will look like a head by the time we leave today. Fingers crossed. I've moved it inside because I realized that it can indeed fit through doorways. It's, it's squishy enough that it can fit through a door. One benefit of moving it indoors is that I can hang it on the wall. Now I can see what it, how it will behave when it's actually hanging. And one thing I've noticed after doing that is that the, the PEX pipe tube kind of goes into an egg shape instead of a circle. So what I've decided is to use broom posts. So it'll be connected up here. And down here, to t and then one this way, and then one that way. Okay, so now we got the broomstick. Our loop is much less egg-like and much more circle. Now we're gonna put that up and down one to lift this nose. Because the nose is uh, dropping down. I'm, I'm hanging it upside down. <laughs> Those are the eyes and they're supposed to be down here. Let me just flip this over. Okay, now we're gonna add that cross beam to lift that nose up to about here. I'm gonna try. Like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just doing. Uh, I mean, well, it doesn't quite work as well as I want it to. Okay, but I've decided to put that little uh, section that I made on this side so it smushes down that way. So I decided on the uh, tried and true, stick a hole in it, send a wire through, and spin that wire around until it's not going anywhere. But I need like another pair of pliers to take off this pair of pliers. I have no strength. Oh. So this one's holding the circle in place. This one's holding it from like closing in on itself. This one is putting pressure upwards to keep the nose up. Uh, this one, it should be up here more, but it's down here, pull the uh, chin upwards, and then this kind of keeps the uh, chin in a straight line because I was finding it was like coming this way a lot. So uh, this line and this line, I'm hesitant are doing really anything. They do seem to be helping. I might be insane though.
yeah, I think, I think that looks better. Yeah. <laughs> Concerned. Okay, yes. I looked back on the video. I do like this better. Yeah. It was too, uh, too flat there. I'm really glad I made this because I'm really awful at transferring 2D to 3D and this is helping a lot. I'm going to cut the video off there. I've made some great progress. I'm focusing on more getting the project done than getting the videos done as the project happens just because I'm so limited about time. I have about a week and a half left, um, but you'll see more videos coming. Um, what you've seen in this video is just the head, the, the body's coming in in other videos, so keep your eyes out. Oh, circle.